just let me know. The story is personal, so I'm counting on your discretion. My name is Gan Cole. I'm a senior science officer here at Troida. Perhaps you've heard of my involvement in the Protactinian bomber design. No matter. It would only help you understand the sensitive nature of what I do, the secrets I'm privy to. I save my respect for people who can hurt me. You will hold me in even less esteem when I finish my tale. My foolishness may have allowed a top-secret design for our blaster power system to fall into Republic hands. I care about this why? Hear my tale. If only so you may avoid the base passions to which I fell prey. My father warned me. He said, A pretty girl can do more damage with a smile <laughs> than a Sith with a lightsaber. But let me be direct. I am not the traitor. My wife is the one who betrayed first me, then our Empire. It seems like more than a little lapse in judgment. I don't know if Kalara did this out of malice or boredom. I shouldn't have brought her here. I finally thought I had made her happy, but no. She found her own entertainment. His name is Jerez Bant. He's a thug. Clears the trash at the cantina in Sobrick. Imperial intelligence believes he's a spy, and I am certain beyond doubt that he's the one who has the design plans that disappeared from my bedroom drawer. If he's got those plans, he won't see tomorrow. I am truly honored by the service of so many of the Empire's finest. The plans must be recovered before Jerez sells them to the Republic. He should be at the cantina now. I will gladly give you as great a reward as I can muster should you dispose of this refuse. Then I will deal with my wife. Okie dokie, good luck with that, mate. Dealing with your wife. <laughs> Yeah, have fun with that here. Yeah, it's never a good thing. The turrets are ready for reprogramming. Hail the Emperor! I owe you my thanks and far more. I'll arrange a payment from the Corps of Engineers directly into your accounts. Now those rebels will see how lucky they are to be part of the glorious Empire. Oh, droid armor. Mm -hmm. And more armor. I'll take the armor for her. <laughs> Watch it not be as good. You, you know you can mouse over and see before you click on it. Can you? Didn't know that. Yeah. Oops. If you just put your mouse, like it open up your bags. It, it, it always, yeah, but when I mouse over the item in my bag, it always shows me my stats to her stats, not her stats to her stats. Like it shows mine, it shows both on mine. No, it only shows mine. That's a setting in the options. Is it? Yeah. Alright, I'll we'll have to look at that then. Alright, we'll do it better anyway. So it was worth it. <laughs> What's it under? I don't know. Um, where's options? Preferences? Yeah, why can't I find preferences? Options. So I want the social. User interface. Show detailed item tooltips. Enable companion comparative. There That's it is. Right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Nice one, Nate. Well done, mate. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, keep it down for a reason. Yeah, how long have we played this game? <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Such a noob. <laughs> well, mine was still, I gotta admit, mine was still set from the last time we played this. Alright. Oh, 
Um, do we go to the cantina? And do that quest? Uh, I think that's what we have left out here, right? Is that the Sobrick one? Sobrick Speeder. Yeah. The north. Is confirmed. Oh, and we have a turn in here. Cool. Turn it straight across. Yeah, I would consider almost paying for an account just to not have to have my helmet on. <laughs> I quite like that helmet. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> like a mushroom on my head. Imagining things, but I could have sworn I heard those generators go pop from here. Good work, but it looks like the resistance isn't done yet. You'd think the Empire would have had an easier time with a ragtag bunch of resistance fighters. Used to be we kept the resistance in check in the wilds, but now they've started to get bolder. They're attacking Imperial holdings in the old Balmoran industrial area. We need to punish their boldness. Lieutenant Thorpe at Markaran Outpost has some ideas about how to put the resistance back in their place. I'm about 12,000 points from the thing. I think I'm about like 83. Yeah. Not far behind. But I'm right about 82, somewhere like that. Evening, my friends. What can I offer to wet your throat and bring a smile to your lips? Oh, good grief. <laughs> you know what I'm here for. Uh, is this about Harris? Men were looking for him yesterday, too. Imperial intelligence. Whatever he did, I don't want to know. Harris, leave the girls alone and get over here. Someone wants you. How can I help you find Imperial citizens? You've got something that belongs to the Imperial Army. <coughs> Possible. I get a lot of gifts, you know. It'd be rude to refuse them. Give me the plans and you go home with your head. Okay, okay. You're talking about the package I snagged from the Sokol girl, right? Good look at that one. But not much between the ears. Anyway, here they are. It's just some data disks. I don't even know what's on them. I want names and locations on all your accomplices. <laughs> Talk to every bored wife in Sobrick. Try not to bleed all over the discs. Damn it! Not in my cantina. No. What? Oh, I thought you'd gone for the other one. Then. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
I went for the kill him as well, so it was alright. You see, because I'm a bounty hunter, I, can, I have to bounce back and forth, I think, yeah. to, to make the pet happy. Like, some of them, you, she doesn't like it. If I, It's basically if I go against the contracts. Right. So if my initial contract says kill him, she's like, okay, kill him. <laughs> and back to the speeder. Or should we just run out? Uh, either. Doesn't matter. Run it, eh? Not far away, are we? No. Yeah, we're at the exit. Speed, <clears throat> the speeder might have been a little bit quicker. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Maybe we made a ba bad judgment there, I think. Disabled 35k. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at five. You look satisfied. I, I, about six. I hope it's because the wretched spy who stole my blaster designs lies dead on his own floor. We just have to settle up and we're done. I appreciate your service, but what of Kalara? Did you question him as to her role in this... affair? All he said was she's a lousy kisser. The boar! <laughs> but I won't linger on that image. It's clear Kalara's part in this was vital and willing. If you haven't tired of my sordid tale, perhaps you could undertake one more task. Credits have a way of convincing me. This is a bit more sensitive than dealing with Haraz Bant. I could see fit to pay you triple what I would give otherwise. Consider it. If the authorities learned of Kalara's folly, it would ruin the good name of this office, shut us down for months of investigation. All the while, the resistance would be gaining strength. The penalty for aiding a spy is death. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. I have been considering how best to end this disaster. It should be quiet, quick. Something that can be blamed on the rebels. No questions asked. I've got a talent for that. Let me call Kalara. I will tell her you are to escort her to my colleague Garboza at the Imperial Outpost. The route has many isolated spots suitable for rebel ambush. Oh, is it time? Uh, my dear. These are the guards I've engaged to escort you. Garboza asked me to thank you for your assistance at such short notice. And I thought I wouldn't get in any sightseeing on Balmora. If you call wandering through bombed-out factories sightseeing, you should have a blast. Go to the transit point, Kalara. They will meet you there. I love you too. Go then. When you find yourselves alone, you can put an end to her treason. And my marriage. You got yourself a deal. Just be... kind about it. I loved her once. It is best our names not be linked after this. When the deed is done, go to Officer Garboza at the outpost. He'll have your reward. You need not say what it's for.
Oh, I have 17,000. Do you? Yeah. Uh, nine and a half. But you bought, you, you did some crafting. Yeah, I bought a lot of stuff for crafting at one point. Okay, so... Another turning just out here. It would appear. A rock. Ah, you must be here for Officer Sir Cole's wife. He said to expect you. One moment. Gan doesn't usually go out of his way to see me protected. Is this going to be so dangerous? I can't remember the last time he voluntarily let me spend time with a man who wasn't stodgy or senile. Maybe Officer Sokol is just worried about you. Worried about his property, maybe. If he cared about me, I'd see him more than just on the comlink, you know? Let's get going. I'm assuming we're going to get attacked on this. Oh yeah, dead right. I would imagine so. You've got big legs for a woman. <laughs> See you in a bit. This is an exciting quest. Wow, wow, yeah. <laughs> we should kill some stuff on the way. <laughs> Maybe, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. around so much like that it's like you're looking for someone are you expecting an attack why did Gan send an armed escort when I'm just going to the outpost I'm supposed to kill you as a traitor to the Empire what Gan wants you to kill me I, I, are you going to Harris Bot says you gave him sensitive military documents. This is about Harris. Fine. Yes, I slept with the slime. And do you think he bothered to call after? But <laughs> military documents? Do I look like I have a clearance? Tell Gan that Harris is a jerk and I've broken it off. If he had the guts, he would ask me himself. Your boyfriend has known connections to Republic intelligence. I don't know anything about that. The guy told me he was a pilot. Look, can't you just talk to him or, or something? He, he wouldn't really kill me for this, would he? Your selfishness aided our enemies. You get no mercy. You're going to kill me for this? For this? No! Nice. That's for making me walk all that way for nothing. <laughs> Alright, so back up the, yeah, up the lift. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we really need to get speeders. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen for a while. No. Oh, oh! If it isn't the best paid engineering consultant on Balmora. I mean, no offense, but you don't exactly look like science core material, you know? And what exactly is he paying you all this for? How much is it worth for you to know about it? I could add a little something on top of this for information that lets me pass Officer Sokol at the next evaluation. Call it a tip. Fifteen percent. Keep your credits. I'll just take what I'm owed. <laughs> Suit yourself. Oh, I'm sure points. I can find someone nice. else who knows what Sakol's up to. So now when you mouse over, is it showing you both? Yeah, yeah it is. Did we miss that last time? Yeah, yeah, I didn't see it. So near to dinging. Uh, very close. The bounty hunter. I've heard of you. I'm Fixer 66. I'm with the operations branch of Imperial Intelligence. And if you have a moment, I'd like to show you something. You have my attention, Fixer. On the left is an ordinary Republic Kong unit issued to resistance fighters. You've probably seen hundreds before. This other one is a Republic Kong unit that has undergone some surgery. Please look, don't touch. The second one contains a half kilo of high explosive that detonates when the talk button is pressed. I assume this is meant to deal with the resistance. Yes. The plan is to take a few of these sabotaged comm units behind the resistance's lines and plant them on their dead. The resistance should soon salvage the comms and take them back to their headquarters. The resulting explosions will cripple and panic them. We'd prefer someone like you to take point. Someone who won't break if captured and who can go without reinforcements. Can you do this? Let's make this happen. Head over to our technical man, a Balmora local we drafted. The men call him Toy Box. He'll give you the ordnance and show you how to transport it safely. Keep trying to raise them. I may have another avenue. You, Bounty Hunter. I made a Tyrus, commander of the 2nd Battalion. I'll be blunt. I need someone who can pull a rescue operation immediately and keep their mouth shut afterward. If it's this urgent, why hide it? Because the colonels don't like it when you can't find an entire platoon of your top soldiers. We sent them into the Akara droid factory for a covert electronic operation. Eight hours ago, their communications blacked out, which means the droids are onto them. What are their chances that close to Okara? I'll be frank. Other than grass, the soldiers are the only living things within a click of that factory. That's the droid's protocol. Nothing survives. So when I say I need you to find first platoon, I mean it. I'll head to the Akara factory immediately. Their ranking officer is Lieutenant Rutau. If the droid's got him, then please, take command and lead the unit back. Okay. 
Here. I think I skipped the explosives for that other. Ah, right, okay, that might dingles that. Yeah, I don't know. Fixer 66 called with the details. I've got your car units rigged and ready to go. Oh, my name's Toybox, or that's what they call me. I used to make. Well, never mind. Quite a plan the Fixer's got. What do you think of it? I like it. It exterminates the resistance in their nests. The resistance? Or anyone else that picks up the comm unit? He's assuming soldiers will be the ones stripping any resistance bodies, but civilians pick over bodies all the time. Refugees, sympathizers, sometimes you'll even see children do it. It's regrettable. Unfortunately, no one makes a childproof bomb. No, but it's more practical to kill a soldier than a civilian, right? We want a high-value target. While I was making the bombs, I remembered I had some empty grenade casings lying around. Now, a comm unit anyone will activate. But if we trapped a grenade to explode when armed, only soldiers will be in the blast. What would you think of that? Has it occurred to you that the Fixer's plan relies on you obeying his orders? I... I'm sorry. I suppose that might have looked like I was... I won't do it again. Here are the trapped comm units. They're disarmed until this channel is set to five. Just set them and walk away. Fixer 66 will be monitoring resistance comm frequencies. Talk to him when it's done. Oh. What was that? We need to kill. It's still so close to dinging. <laughs> Can't log off when we just got that little bit to go. I think it's, there's something turning right around the corner as Is well. Right. If not, we can kill something out here. Something in here. There you go. I hear your exploits with Lieutenant Davril went well. Let us hope you are versatile. Unlike my esteemed colleague, I do not base my mission's success on the decibel level of the explosions. Breaking the spirits of a resistance movement is like cooking a fine meal. So, what are the ingredients for this mission? The Resistance has the people's backing. We must crush the spirits of the people to crush the Resistance. No doubt Lieutenant Davril told you that they've brought in cyborg mercenaries from off-world, using an experimental new drop technology to land them on the planet. These cyborgs are killing our soldiers left and right. So, what's the mission? I believe we can catch them by surprise at this location. But here's the key. I want to send the Balmoran people a clear message. We collect the technology the cyborgs use to drop onto Balmora and use it against them. Kill the cyborgs, collect the technology. What do you think? I suppose it's not the worst plan I've heard. I thought it was rather good myself. Bring me the cyborg technology and I think the Balmoran people That's will get our teeth. message loud and clear. <laughs> Oh, I didn't ding. Maybe you're willing to do this. Hang on. <laughs> Take those for the pets. Much better. There we go. Pets. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Pet. Much better. So shall we call it there then, Nate? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to go back to the city so I can get my skills. Uh, use the, what's it? Teleport. Oh, good idea. Saw brick, yeah? Yes. Since we won't be using it for a couple of weeks. Yeah.